Hello the internet, welcome back to the Waifus, I'm Sefi and today we're gonna be talking about the sticks and how he keeps lying on his Nike content. Now I'm gonna be specifically talking about Nike, not all of his content because I don't play the other games and I watch him for, for news and for things like that and I think that's good content. Clickbait, I don't care, I know some people don't like the clickbait but the reality is every YouTuber uses clickbait. What I do want to talk is his Nike content, specifically three videos that actually piss me off. So the one he made yesterday, all oh, players are videos at Nike. The one he made uh, a month ago, which is the ultimate Nike tier list, which you stole and gave no credit. And then the one where you said you spent 1600 in Nike, which is a lie. You will spend less than a thousand dollars if you spend at all. And again, we're going to be going over everything as to why it's a lie because you can't prove these things. It's pretty simple stuff, all right? So before we start, leave a like, subscribe, and also pretty important, I'm making this video for one simple reason. You have 50,000 subscribers. What you say can impact if people wanna play a game, try a game, or all together, not even touch it or leave it, right? You can make the people that actually enjoy the game see you spend 1600 and be like, I don't wanna play this game because it's too expensive. Or people will see your tier list of some of the recommendations you have that are bad and they will be like, I'm going to build this unit and then fuck up their accounts because they trust what you're saying. All that said, I'm going to start uh, with the first video, which is the one you made yesterday. Who all players are furious at Nike? This video is about shift up going public at a really big uh, first evaluation and how this is impacting the game. This is impacting the game in absolutely no way or form. Here's the thing, right? Most companies in gaming that go public will end up forgetting their rules and changing their direction for just more profits. We can agree on that. But the difference is being honest or not. Because you will see this in 10, 15 years for a consumer to see the results of what the investors want. That's not happening tomorrow. This doesn't happen on Monday, they go public, and on Wednesday, the game is completely fucking censored and no more characters have good fan service. It's not how it works. So I want to talk about this first, right? So you start you the video. <laughs> you start the video with this too, which is pretty funny. You either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. That is. That is something I just came up with on the spot. You're welcome to use that if you want to. No, it sticks. This is not something you come up with. The problem is you steal so much content from different places that you don't even remember where you're taking the stuff from. This is from Batman. Most people have watched the films Batman, right? And you have seen this phrase used over and over and over again in different social medias. But again, this is just me in nitpicking things, all right? This is not a big problem. But I want to go over your account in this video. I'm not going to be reacting to the three videos. I don't think there's a need for that. You can go and watch the videos to see what if what I'm saying is true or not. So what I want to go over is your Nike account because um, here's your account. We can see that your account is called Flathids. You play on the NA server. I already checked. And you your level is... What is this? Oh, can you load, please? There we go. 232. Your highest core units are a core 3 liter. And I think that's about it, right? The others are core 2, core 3 privacy, nor blank modernia and red hood core uh, 2 as well. Again, a fairly low level account. And what pissed me off about this video and what I was like, okay, Sticks, you need to stop lying. It's because you said specifically that you have spent thousands of dollars in the game, in plural thousands of dollars in the game so i'm on an account that's not mine but it's pretty similar to yours to showcase the difference between someone who actually spends thousands of dollars and someone who is just copying if we go to friends we can see that you're also call it uh flaccids right and we can just find you here flaccids we can see that this is you same uh, profile picture same uh, avatar frame and then you have the same units in here showcasing core two both uh bunny girls red hood modernia and jackal so this is you you have 88 units, 16 skins, 172k combat power. <laughs> if you have spent thousands of dollars, actually, no, let me say this. There is absolutely no way you have spent thousands of dollars and gotten only 88 characters. But that's not the only thing. I want to talk about your whole profile to prove to people that actually play this game that you are just capping. So first of all, your avatar frames. In here, we can see all of your avatar frames. And there is something really funny. So first of all, you can see that he has all of the avatar frames that they gave away for free for the half pack. And then you have also the near ones. And then you also have uh, some of the normal ones you can get with achievements. But if we go to raids, you don't have a single frame. You don't play these game sticks. You don't do raids. You don't even have the first frame, which is 30%. You don't have a single frame. 
you are a campaign 22, you haven't even finished campaign, someone who spent thousands of dollars but cannot finish the campaign, sounds a little bit cap. You are hard campaign level 5, which that doesn't matter, hard campaign is something people might like or not, or whatever. And something really interesting if we go into your old boss is that you are lesson 4-3 in the Tactics Academy. This is something new players finish within a couple months. Two or three months, most people are already at least stage nine, right? At least stage nine. So when you say that you have dropped thousands of dollars on this game, I know you are lying because you don't have barely any skins. You have two skins for the bunny girls. You have no gacha skins, at least visibles that I can see from Drake or from Dorothy. You have no shop skins either that I can see on the top. Again, from most of these characters here have skins. So what have you spent? thousands of dollars because i just cannot see it the biggest thing that gives away that you have spent no money by the way is that you don't have any high core units because most people at this rate even free to plays are starting to get core 7 units their first core 7s if you're like a you know old player they're starting to get core 7 units you have none also this is something important to showcase the new account i'm gonna be showcasing now it sticks place on server 8400 right 8.453 the account I'm going to be showcasing is from Core Shadow. He plays on the server 8.3, 100 servers difference. They started playing most likely around the same week or the same month, right? There is not much difference when it comes to the servers. So first of all, let's go into his unit so we can see the difference between someone who actually spends money and someone who doesn't spend money. And as you can see, he's level 327 and he has a lot of units, Core 7, plus a lot of units with high cores right pretty simple stuff let me go here we can also go to the frames themselves because he does have red frames he just keeps rates john is actually not like a hardcore player he doesn't really care but he does them sometimes and when he does them he can get the big frame in fact he's already on the three percent for this current solo rate he has 106 units 24 costumes he is done with campaign and of course also his tactics academy are basically done stage nine Again, if you have been playing for more than a year, your Tactics Academy should be done. If you haven't done this, it's that you're not playing the game, nothing else. Now, Core Shadow has spent around, he told me, four, five thousand dollars around that, that ballpark. And you can see where the money has gone and all of the units he has. He doesn't have a lot of skins either, but you can see he has progressed a lot more. He's catching up to me. Jonathan was like five months ago or six months ago, I think, doing a special interception. He just unlocked terrain and I was helping him clear terrain. And now he's ca catching up to me in terms of level. So this is one of the accounts I wanted to show you, right? And I'm going to be showing you my account, a day one account, where I have spent less than $3,000 to see also the difference. Because Jonathan has spent four, five thousand, maybe six, right? And he has multiple units, core seven, a lot of units with high cores. This is my account, day one. I have spent two, three thousand dollars. I am level 347, and as you can see, I only have four units at core seven and multiple units like with high cores. Do you see the difference between the three accounts? Someone who really spends money, someone who spends some money, and someone who doesn't even play the game because you don't even have the units to show for, right? So I'm not, I'm not going to be showcasing my whole account. I stream every day. You can come ask any questions if you need to. I want to go into your second video, which is the tier list itself. Because speaking of lies and not crediting content and not knowing what you're talking about, it's your tier list. Your tier list is called the Ultimate Nikkei 2024 Tier List PvP Bosses Story. Now, all of you know Pridewen. If you play gachas, you know Pridewen. You took literally right once tier list you change a couple ratings which by the way made it worse <laughs> made the tier list worse because you know you don't know what you're talking about and you publish that and that's it you did nothing else you're doing a tier list for pvp which i guarantee you don't play and you are not even challenger you're doing a tier list for bosses when you don't do solo raid and you haven't finished campaigns so what bosses are you talking about and you're doing another tier list for a story which you haven't finished <laughs> so why are you doing a tier list and my problem with the tier list is that you don't credit pride one because it's obvious you, you took it you can compare his tier list and again you can go watch the video yourself to prove that his tier list is pride one with minor modifications that are actually bad but my issue is that even in the description, uh, you said that this is the ultimate nigga tier list without the fluff, easy to digest, straight to the point, who's good, who's bad, what they're good in, what they're bad in. How do you know if they're good if you don't use them? How do you know what they're good in if you're not even explaining why they're good as what they do? 
You are literally putting every single unit in the tier list without explaining why they're in that rating or what those units do. And this shows you don't know what you're talking about. And your audience, who most likely is there for the drama and not playing Nike, will see this and be like, okay, this might be a good tier list. But everyone else knows this is bad. Which, by the way, your tier list, I sent you a message about it. And I actually told you, hey, brother, this is a bad tier list. I actually told you, and again, I'm not trying to hide anything, so I can show it here. I told you, I said your naked tier list, and there's some things that I really don't agree, and I think they could be better, honestly. Some of the ratings are just bad, because they are bad. I run a website similar, blah, blah, blah. If you want to go over text or a call, not even on a stream, I told you also on a stream, whatever you prefer. But if you want to go over text or a call, just to fix it and actually recommend good stuff, DM me, and we can do it. You don't care, because this is one of your worst performing videos in the last six, uh, six months. So why would you care about making it good? Why would you care about actually giving good information? This got 6.6k views, which is one of your worst performing videos. Again, you can go to this channel and confirm this. So you don't care about giving good information or actually know what you're talking about. You're just here for the clicks and for your views, which is completely fine. It's your job. We're all trying to get there. I'm just saying that you can help people and players with good information and crediting where you get your sources from while actually getting views, right? Now that's it about the tier list, which you, again, stole from Bradwen and about the other video you are making about, you know, Doom posting, how this is the end for Nick because I didn't go in public. I want to talk about your other video, which is I spent 1600 in Nick. I don't know how you do math. It's clearly you don't even know how to properly sum, but let's talk about this, right? In here, you already have to be and you are level one. Uh, so you have to be and you have 10 or yeah, 10 tickets, right? So if you go here, you have 10 golden tickets, which means you need 190 pools in order to guarantee getting her. And you already have 30k. You say you have spent 1600, right? If we go to when you are in the shop, right? When you go to actually church gems. So let me go here. I think it's here. Yeah. We can see that you have not bought a single pack of the gems. So where are you getting your 1600? Because the only way you can buy things is if you are actually buying, if you go to Nike, the event shop, this whole event tab. Now, if you were to buy this whole event shop, this is what you get. From this, you get a total of $520 spent. You get 40k gems, which is 13 multis, and you get 65 tickets. This is enough to guarantee the unit that you needed, which you ended up ticketing. Again, you can go watch the video. You don't spend at the end of the video, you showcase again the shop, which it, it's so bad because did you guys see that there is a, a can you actually see this? Let me see. Let me go to OBS. Yes, you can. Do you see that between these two buttons at the top, right? He has one more icon. Stix has one more icon in between. That is the campaign pack. For $20, you are getting 10,000 gems. You're going to spend actually twice that. So you can get for $40 or for 30, whatever it is, 20,000 gems. So how are you claiming that you spend so much money when you don't spend money on the game? Where is this coming from? Like if you got the sponsor video is completely fine, like most content creators where you get pulled from, from the developers, that's fine, but you did not spend $1,600. I don't know how you're doing your math. You're calculating everything based on the price of the gems that you haven't even bought. You're calculating a multi for $30 or $40, I think you say on the video, and you haven't even bought that. So how are you calculating that? I just don't understand. Honestly, all that said, I'm making this video again because I think with 50,000 subscribers, you can hurt the community you're trying to make videos on. I don't know about the other games you cover and I don't care about the other games you cover, but you're hurting the community but making people not wanting to play. You can go to that 1600 pools video. You can see people in the comments, this should be illegal. I'm not playing this game. Thank God I didn't stick with Nick and I'm playing this game instead. You're hurting the community and the players and the growth of the game by making uninformed content. You are literally what's wrong with journalism nowadays. People who don't care about the games, they only care about the clicks itself. So all that said, just wanted to you know, point out the bad stuff on those three videos. I know you have more Nikkei videos. I did not went through them. We could go through them on a stream, guys, if you want, let me know. When it comes to sticks for the drama and for staying up to date with gachas, I think he's a good channel. When it comes to Nikkei, please just watch someone else, right? There is plenty of good creators out there. All that said, thank you to my patrons for making this content possible as usual. Good luck with your pull the internet rates and see you in the next one. ブラントノワールの正体まで。ベンチ万物を切るとはこういうことです。